Previously on the Fentertainment channel, we changed to oil spark plug and the air filter in our riding lawnmower. Click the link above to see how we did it. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fenders. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you my style of the wood grain effect. I also added in like these wood planks to give it uh, my kind of little twist on it. To see how I did this, stay tuned. So I got started like I usually do and gave the cup a good wash with Dawn dish detergent. Went ahead and dried it off and taped up the bottom of the cup. Now you can see here I taped up past the line. I did this so I could take a razor blade and get a clean crisp line like so. I placed the cup on my man crafting powder coating stand. I'll put a link in the description where you can find these stands. So I covered the entire cup as a base coat in this Rust-Oleum Gloss Black and you'll see why in a later step. Once I had the entire first coat on the tumbler itself, I went ahead and took the tumbler into my garage and used my garage oven to cure the pain. I have several videos on this and I'll place the links above where you can check that out. Basically I baked this for 200 degrees at 20 minutes. While the cup was baking, I went inside and used this straight line cutter and just cut some strips out for the masking of the planks. Once the paint was cured, I cured it back inside and used my laser thermometer. I'll place a link where you can find these down below. This right here ensures that it's at operating temperature where I can actually hold it again. I took the strips that we cut earlier and placed it on the cup and I'm making it look sort of like a 2x4 board. So I carried the cup back outside and I painted it yellow, hoping the yellow would make the browns that I paint later on in the video pop or look better and only have to do one coat of each color later on. After the yellow was dried, I went ahead and sprayed this light khaki tan over the cup. And as you can see, the light khaki tan looks better over yellow than it would have over black. And that's why we shot yellow first. So after the light khaki was dried, we went ahead and I took some black spray paint and some dark brown spray paint and spray painted these plates and carried them inside. And I used a brush to brush on the dark brown. As you can see here, I use a cup because the paper plate started to melt. I guess the paint had something to do with it, but I took the paint brush and gave it the wood grain effect with the paint brush itself. Then I took a pencil here and I used the eraser and I dotted the eraser and made dots around each of the marks of the stencil. Once the wood grain effect completely dried, I cured it back inside and removed the stencils that we applied earlier. Next, we took it back outside and gave it three coats of Rust-Oleum 2X clear coat. I used the oven method, five minutes at 200 degree intervals. After we had the clear coat done, I cured it back inside, removed all the blue painter's tape from around the top of the cup. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up the wood grain effect using all paint and no alcohol inks. If you haven't subscribed to the Fentertainment channel, I ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Check out these other great videos, and until next time guys, we'll see you later.